Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see here we have absolutely new release from ICM uh, this is DOS Dornier 17Z10 uh, it's a famous German uh, World War II aircraft and here this particular version depicts Night Fighter which was used during World War II so this kit is molded in 148 scale and as you can see it's packed into quite a huge box here you can see comparison with my hand we have this nice box art on the top uh, then some information about the kit assembled kit we will measure uh, 34 uh, centimeters uh, length and wingspan equal to the 37 centimeters and inside you will find 205 parts so this is a typical packaging scheme for this uh, manufacturer as you can see we have this nice uh, cover printed top part and then we have sturdy cardboard box which uh, will ensure that everything inside is intact so just give me a second to open it and here we can see contents as you can see uh, wing parts are quite huge and amount of the parts inside is really impressive so let's open and check them one by one straight away I want to say that uh, it's hard not to notice that all parts are packed into one bag except of transparent parts so I wouldn't say that it's let's say a good feature nevertheless uh, all parts are intact so at least this is ensured by the sturdy box okay so uh, first we will check this big sprue with engine gondolas and then we will jump to the other frames which are included into this kit so here you can see this nice uh, plastic sprue molding quality is quite nice uh, I think some of the internal components will be replicated oops uh, as you can see one part uh, pilot seat wasn't let's say attached properly or it, maybe it was bent during the shipment here you can see the pilot seat or maybe bomber seat uh, nevertheless it broken off but as you can see it's still intact so nothing serious that much but I would rather prefer uh, let's say carefully packed parts here we have a dashboard uh, which of course will be later upgraded by some PE manufacturers and some other landing gear parts and here you can see tail landing gear as you can see all parts have position in slots so it will be easy to align them and I think assembly shouldn't be hard either because uh, this kit is absolutely new molding, absolutely new design so I hope that everything will be let's say uh, not shake and bake it but at least easy to connect together uh, then we have transparent sprue, transparent sprue is quite nice we have here two types of the canopy uh, moreover they are molded as one piece as you can see here and some other transparent parts of course you would need masks for Zeus but uh, I have no doubt that Zeus will be available a bit later uh, next is a quite huge sprue with big fuselage halves here you can see them I would show them like this on those parts you will find recess panel lines and riveting in some spots this is quite an interesting feature here you can see it uh, nose part is molded as a one uh, one piece element so you won't have seams on such sensible area uh, the same can be said about some tail parts I think ailerons are also molded separately and here you can see some other parts tail wings I think uh, yes they will be assembled separately and here you can see some internal components which will be placed inside the aircraft next we have two similar sprues uh, it's easy to guess that those are dedicated to the engine parts and landing gear parts so uh, here we are 
we have one piece molded uh, propeller wheels will be assembled from two pieces here you can see them uh, nevertheless I hope that our resin alternatives will be available very soon uh, engine itself is quite detailed for uh, out of the box version here you can see some of the parts uh, also the bomb load is also included some of the landing gear parts are also here and even the thin element are carefully replicated all you have to do is just cut them off without damaging them and note that for example this uh, landing gear cover landing gear wheel cover let's say it has a special bracket which repeats the form of this part so even though it was broken from this attachment point it's still intact because of this frame so very nice solution I would say and last but not the least uh, is a sprue with huge wing parts here you can see that they feature recess panel lines too and again as I said here we have separately molded ailerons I think that they will be positionable if you would like to here we have some minor detailization of the wheel wells and what else mm, also note that here we have special positioning slots so those huge parts will be aligned together with help of the small points and of course on the bottom of the box we have assembly manual with decal sheet inside decals are printed in more or less nice quality uh, we have this uh, symbols and also decal for the dashboards uh, nevertheless it's quite surprising that this model is 148 scale but still we don't have stencils included assembly manual is typical for this manufacturer so you can expect good quality brochure with a uh, short history note on the first page then we have parts map as you can see some parts won't be used so it's a small tip that there will be another version available as you can see bombs won't be used and some canopy types won't be used either uh, on the last page we have marking options there are two of them included here you can see picture 3d picture of the assembled model and assembly process is shown with this with help of this 3d pictures let's say so as you can see model will have quite detailed internals and I have no doubt that they will be upgraded very soon with some PE manufacturer products so that's all for today uh, don't forget to check full review of this Dornier on our uh, website and also I would be happy to see you as a subscriber of our YouTube channel and fan of our Facebook group it will help us greatly thank you for watching once again and see you soon